Buddhism started in India, yet remarkably, it found a second home in Japan. But how did this major religion travel from the distant lands of India and become a key part of Japanese culture, alongside the ancient Shinto faith? This isn't just a story of religion, but a tale of how two worlds met and merged. So, how exactly did Buddhism arrive in Japan, and why did it resonate so deeply with the Japanese people? Join us as we uncover the answers, exploring the significant impact of Buddhism on Japan's rich culture. Buddhism's arrival in Japan. The story of Buddhism's arrival in Japan is as intriguing as it is complex. It all began around the 6th century, when Japan first encountered Buddhism, not directly from its birthplace in India, but via neighboring China and Korea. Traders, immigrants, and envoys journeyed across seas and mountains, carrying with them not just goods, but also ideas and beliefs. These early encounters, particularly with the Korean kingdom of Baekje in 552 AD, marked the entry of Buddhism into Japan. These foreign visitors played a crucial role, introducing Buddhism to Japanese shores through gifts of Buddhist scriptures and statues to the Japanese court. However, Buddhism's reception was mixed. Among the Japanese elite, there was both fascination and skepticism. While some saw Buddhism as a sophisticated addition to their culture, others viewed it with suspicion, seeing it as a threat to their indigenous beliefs and traditions. The common people, influenced by these elite perspectives, were similarly divided. This initial resistance and gradual acceptance set the stage for Buddhism's unique evolution in Japan, blending with local customs to form a distinct version of the faith. This journey of Buddhism, from a foreign import to an integral part of Japan's culture, demonstrates the dynamic nature of cultural exchange and religious adaptation. Prince Shotoku, the patron of Japanese Buddhism. At the heart of Buddhism's rise in Japan stands a pivotal figure, Prince Shotoku, known as the great patron of Japanese Buddhism. In the early 7th century, amidst a Japan divided in its religious beliefs, Prince Shotoku emerged as a champion for Buddhism. His influence was profound and transformative. He not only embraced Buddhism personally, but also advocated for its spread across Japan. This was a bold move in a time when conservative clans, deeply rooted in traditional Shinto beliefs, viewed Buddhism with suspicion and sometimes outright hostility. Prince Shotoku's commitment to Buddhism went beyond mere endorsement. He was instrumental in establishing key Buddhist institutions, laying the foundation for a Buddhist Japan. Under his guidance, the first official temples were built, and the ordination of monks and nuns began, marking the formal introduction of Buddhist practices. This was more than just religious change. It was a cultural revolution that set the stage for a deeply influential Buddhist presence in Japanese history and culture. The Nara Period, State-Sponsored Buddhism During the Nara period, the intertwining of Buddhism with state affairs reached new heights. This era, spanning from 710 to 794 AD, was a transformative time for Buddhism in Japan. It wasn't just about adopting a new religion. It was about integrating Buddhism into the very core of Japanese governance and society. Major temples built during this period served not only as religious centers, but also as hubs of political and cultural influence. These establishments became breeding grounds for diverse schools of Buddhist thought, each contributing uniquely to the religious and intellectual landscape of Japan. This period was crucial in molding Buddhism into a form that resonated with the Japanese ethos. It wasn't merely an adoption of foreign beliefs, but a sophisticated amalgamation, aligning Buddhist principles with the existing Japanese culture and political structures. The Nara period thus marked a significant evolution of Buddhism from a foreign import to a state-endorsed pillar of Japanese society. Heian Period, the Cultural Pinnacle As we journey further into Japan's history, we reach the Heian Period, from 794 to 1185 AD, a time often regarded as the golden age of classical Japanese culture. 
This era is marked by heightened Chinese influence, yet it's also when Japanese Buddhism truly came into its own. New schools of Buddhism like Tendai and Shingon emerged, reshaping the spiritual landscape of Japan. Emperor Konmu, an important figure of this period, played a significant role in this transformation. His relocation of the capital to Kyoto and his patronage of these new Buddhist schools signified a deeper, more sophisticated integration of Buddhism into Japanese life. Additionally, this period saw an increased participation of women in cultural and artistic spheres, greatly enriching Buddhist practice and expression. They were more than just passive observers. Women actively contributed to the evolution of Buddhist art and literature. The Heian period stands out as a vibrant chapter in Japan's history, where Buddhism was not just a religion but a catalyst for cultural and artistic flourishing. The Interplay of Buddhism and Shintoism In the evolving story of Japanese spirituality, the interplay between Buddhism and Shintoism presents a fascinating chapter. These two religions, rather than clashing, found a unique way to coexist and complement each other. Buddhism, with its origins in India, encountered Japan's indigenous faith, Shintoism a belief system deeply rooted in the worship of nature and ancestral spirits. As Buddhism settled in Japan, it began to adapt and align with Shinto practices and beliefs. This wasn't a forceful merger, but a natural blending. For instance, Buddhist temples often incorporated Shinto shrines, acknowledging the local kami, or spirits. This fusion was philosophical rather than just structural. Both religions share a profound, deep respect for nature, which facilitated their amalgamation. Rituals and festivals began to exhibit elements of both faiths, creating a unique spiritual experience. This synergy also extended to mystical practices. Shinto's focus on purification rituals and Buddhism's meditative practices combined to form ceremonies that were both introspective and deeply connected to the natural world. By embracing Shinto deities within its temples, Buddhism in Japan took on a distinct character, one that resonated deeply with the Japanese people. This collaboration between Buddhism and Shintoism is more than a mere historical footnote. It's an illustration of how different spiritual paths can intertwine to create a rich, multifaceted religious landscape. Kamakura Period, The Rise of Diverse Sects the Kamakura period, spanning from 11 to 85 to 1333 AD, signified a new era in the history of Japanese Buddhism. This was a time of significant transformation, marked by the emergence of diverse and dynamic Buddhist sects. One notable example is the Nichiren sect, founded by the monk Nichiren Daishonin. This sect introduced a form of Buddhism that emphasized devotion to the Lotus Sutra, and had a profound influence on the masses. It wasn't just a religious movement, it was a socio-political force, challenging the existing feudal structures and empowering common people with its teachings. The Kamakura period also saw the rise of Zen Buddhism, which would go on to have a lasting cultural impact. Originating from China, Zen Buddhism emphasized meditation and personal experience over doctrinal study. This approach resonated deeply with Japanese culture, influencing everything from art and architecture to the famed Japanese tea ceremony. These new sects held significant political and economic power. Their temples and monasteries became centers of learning and culture, as well as political influence. The Kamakura period, thus, was not just a chapter in the religious history of Japan, but a period of profound social and cultural change. Modern Influence and Legacy As we step into the modern era, the influence of Buddhism in Japan remains as vibrant and profound as ever. This ancient faith, having journeyed across continents and centuries, continues to shape the heart and soul of contemporary Japanese society. Buddhism isn't just a relic of the past. It's a living, breathing part of Japan's everyday life. In modern Japan, Buddhist philosophies and practices are interwoven into various aspects of daily living. 
From mindfulness and meditation practices, gaining popularity for stress relief to traditional Buddhist festivals, being celebrated with fervor across the nation. These practices are not confined to the spiritual realm, they have found their way into educational systems, corporate ethics, and even in the approach to environmental conservation. Buddhism's rich history in Japan, it's clear that its legacy is far-reaching. Buddhism, with its deep-rooted presence, has become more than just a religion in Japan. It's a cornerstone of cultural identity, shaping the nation's art, philosophy, and way of life. The story of this ancient faith in a modern land is an ongoing narrative, rich with tradition and transformation. It challenges us to think about how ancient beliefs can persist and thrive in a rapidly changing world. As Japan steps into the future, Buddhism's role in shaping its culture and guiding its spiritual path remains a compelling aspect of its identity. As we reflect on this rich legacy, one question lingers. How will Buddhism continue to influence Japan's evolving spiritual and cultural identity?